Hi, my name is Laura Gilbert. Um, I live in Minnesota and I have a 97 year old mother who lives in Florida. My mom is really, she needs a lot of help. There needed to be many things put into place so that she could function well living on her own. And that was, that was her, her choice. But the first two years, boy, the first few months were, I was talking to her multiple times a day I was uh, flying uh, back and forth from Minnesota to Florida um, almost weekly, at least bi-weekly, and spending hours and hours and hours, hours and hours and hours on the phone with her. So that was, that was the first two years. I would say that the, the primary form of financial caregiving that, that I have done um, kind of is twofold. First of all, during those first two years, there was a significant um, financial impact on me because of all of the vacation time I was taking. And actually, after four months, four months into this whole thing, it became clear that I needed to, to resign and just try to do this full time. So the second piece is not only all of the money that I put out out of pocket trying to help get everything set up for her, but then also um, the lost income for the rest of my life. Um, I ended up taking uh, Social Security seven years before I wanted to and um, retiring when, again, I was planning on, on going back. So the, the thing that I wish I would have known, how unprepared all of the documentation and all of the things that my dad had thought he had set up, the best lesson that I got out of all of that was First of all, how important it is to take care of yourself. And in a caregiving situation, a lot of times the taking care of yourself is saying no, which is really hard to do. And so it's really, really, really important to know what, what your limits are so that you don't lose your life in the, in the process. One of the things that we talked about in the support group every once in a while was the how the, the death rate among caregivers is is pretty significant because people just, just wear out. Um, and I know we lost a couple along the way. And obviously it's not just because of caregiving, but the thing is that when you're up all the time and the demands and, and the stress and the, you see your finances, um, anything that you've saved for your whole life going away, um, it's, it's a real challenge. There was actually a moment in time when I suddenly felt the weight of all of that and realized, you know, oh good lord, this is this is not going to be three months of me practically full time, basically full time dealing with one of the highest stress situations, but this is going to be ongoing. So then I had to shift and figure out how how could I survive in that process while I was still trying to get whole things together. When you're dealing with an elderly parent and things get rough, you don't know if it's gonna be another two weeks or another 30 years. It can be, it can be a very, very, very long process. So again, take care of yourself, pace yourself, be sure to, to keep living your life in, the, in the, the process. That to me, that's the most important message.